Before I let you go, I want to ask about Ken Elliott. This is a man that we haven't spoken about all that much over the last couple of years. I, I feel like we almost forgot about him, but he is a doctor that was kidnapped by Islamic terrorists seven years ago and now he has been freed. Well, this is a good day for many people, but good day most of all for Dr Ken Elliott and his family and loved ones. Uh, they have always uh, sought to safeguard their privacy. They've also always been very conscious, as I know have Australian diplomats, uh, about the sensitivity in terms of getting his release mm. uh, and the risks around uh, greater public commentary around that. Uh, thankfully, he is now safe. He is now released. That's a credit to work over many, many years of individuals who sought to establish the type of lines of dialogue and communications yeah. to be able to secure this outcome. And it's a very happy day, no doubt, for Dr Ken Gillespie, his family and loved ones, a man who was doing nothing more than seeking to provide medical and humanitarian assistance, assistance to those who need it most. Yeah, absolutely. Bef just one extra th thing on that. I don't know whether you can give us any information, but why did it take so long? And was he... What, what were the circumstances? Was he treated reasonably well during that time? Um, I don't have all of that information, Laura, but uh, certainly we weren't in a case where the Australian government was dealing directly with foreign governments. Yeah. Uh, he was held by terrorist organisations in West Africa. Uh, in that sense, the lines of communication ever more difficult, uh, the challenges around whether demands are reasonable demands or otherwise challenging along the way. And so a whole range of different sensitivities and difficulties that, uh, that were encountered throughout uh, that time, I imagine. I doubt that COVID uh, probably uh, would have helped uh, in terms mm. of the types of disruptions caused in different parts of the world too. So um, a lot of different efforts by, uh, by different officials over, uh, say, a, a sustained period of time a credit that they have managed to find the point of breakthrough and uh, and at a point where Dr. Kles, uh, Dr. Elliot is uh, is in the latter years of uh, of his life now and so I know it'll be so important to his family to have him back home.